Hey, Theo. Yeah. Did you put the plug in the boat? What, what plug? The plug to keep the water from going in. What plug? <laughs> Theo, if you drift off, you know how to start the boat, right? Maybe. <laughs> Getting out on the water and fishing is a big part of what I do. Sometimes it's just to catch a fish to feed my family, and other times it's a catch and release fishing tournament. I've got three guide dogs in training from the CNIB here with me. People enjoy reading my articles and hearing me on stage when I'm speaking about fishing sustainably. My next guide dog needs to be able to behave on stage and on a fishing boat. On this episode, we have both Lewis and Dunstan who have been with us on previous outdoor adventures. And for the first time, young guide dog trainee Marion. Marion is a 13-month-old Labrador Golden Retriever mix, and I'm told she has beautiful brown brindle legs. Welcome aboard uh, my boat. We're gonna take these dogs out for a little Excellent. boat run and a little bit of fishing today. We're gonna teach them how not to jump after lures. That's yeah. a common problem when you're fishing right. on a boat okay. is the dogs like to snap at the lures. Right. Right. And then uh, we'll introduce them to big motor sounds a little bit okay. and hopefully a fish. Excellent. <laughs> okay. Excellent. Good thing I brought the big boat. Lots of room for three dogs, my son Theo, and four adults. The lake itself is pretty small, so there won't be any big waves or wind to contend with. So let's test these dogs out and see how they like a boat ride. Ready All yours, ready Jason. Up. Hang on to your hats, you guys. Good dog. So, what do you think? So yeah, far, so worry. good. Yeah? yeah? Yeah, they're not concerned at all. The three yeah. of them are saying they like to do it every day. <laughs> Excellent job. Good boy. He's, he's looking at you, isn't Absolutely. he? Absolutely. But tell us. <laughs> and what, and what, this is Dunstan? Yeah. He's, he's, he's nice and chipper this morning. Yeah, absolutely. Huh? Yeah, he's a lot better. Yeah, it's feel, it's, uh, looks like just, he's feeling good. Just, just needs that rest. Yeah. Hey, mate. We did the big motor test. Uh, what do you guys think? Are these dogs good for it? I just keep repeating myself, don't I? Mean, I'm just so impressed with these dogs. You know, yeah. they've all taken that in the stride. Yeah. Not one of them is concerned. You've got two sitting up, one lying down. You know, I've I've had dogs that have reacted to different types of motors and bouncing and shaking and clacking and cranking, and you never know, right? You never know how they respond. So it's it's you know, and it's disappointing when you get on a train and the the dog's afraid of the train sounds yeah. or the wheel sounds on the tracks, or on a plane and the dog's afraid of the motor on the yeah. plane, and you don't know until you do it. So you know what I want to do next is I want to get a, a lure onto one of the rods, and I'm yeah. going to cut the hook off. Yeah. And I just want to pretend it's a lure, and I'm casting, yeah. and we're dangling in front of their noses. Right. It's so important that these dogs never bite a fishing lure. And you hear about it all the time, right. dogs coming into the vet with a fishing lure in their mouth, because, you know, you play catch with a dog, yep. with a ball or a stick, and they see that, and they, and they see they you moving your arm yeah. as if you're throwing it, yeah. Yeah. and they just think it's a, it's a toy. Now, time to assess how the dogs react to fishing. To be on the safe side, I've removed the hooks from the fishing lures. This is, no, this is mine, mine. <laughs> No, 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 good. no, mine, good boy. Yeah, I'm nope. just gonna turn my back on him and let it hang there for a sec. Good dog. Good dogs. No, they're not. That's they're on not uh, taking the bait. Yes, what's this, mate? Lewis. Look, see. Good boy to good. leave it. Let me cast back and forth a bit. Okay. Yeah. Pretend to cast a bit. <laughs> First time I. Uh, good. Good dogs. Well, I think they did well. Really well. Yeah. Good dogs. So, well, so if someone was doing that, yeah. like at home, yeah. what what would you suggest they do? Like if they were doing that at home with uh, with a lure and their fishing rod? I think I'd be. A, uh, I'd always be suggesting they do it with two people. One's got control of the, uh, the dog, and one's offering the distraction. Yeah. And we sort of let them see it. We tell them no, and we give them a treat when they turn away from it. I, I would start using clicker training with that, to be honest. Not with these dogs, yeah, because they don't need it. But yeah. with our younger dogs. Well, not. You know what? I think that we're ready to catch a fish. Theo, well, I, I, you ready to catch a fish, buddy? Yeah. Well, it's all on your shoulders. <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> Let's find out how each young trainee reacts to a fishing lure being dangled at the end of a fishing rod. It would seem the three young trainees are more interested in wrestling with each other than they are in fishing. With three of us, Jason, Theo, and myself, now fishing with real lures, I'm pretty confident it won't take long before we catch a fish. Oh, there's one. 
Fish on. Spot on that one. That's a good one. Theo, get the net. Hold him there. Wow. Good job. Yeah. Good job. Okay. All right, I got him under there. Okay, oh, okay. let's see. The dogs are all looking. Let, what do you think, guys? Nose to nose. What do you that. think, boys? <laughs> a girl? What do you think, boys? Yeah. Could do? No looking. That's okay, I want you guys not to eat the fish, no, but uh, this is the look, fish. This is Mr. Look. Fish. This is why no. we come out here. No. Ah, Dunson's no. most interested. He's yeah. wanting to kiss him on the nose. Lewis <laughs> is keeping his distance. He's yeah, right. not sure oh. about that. So, hey. shall we let him go? I'm counting the 15 seconds here. I think yeah. that's enough. Yeah, yeah, okay, that's so. All right, Theo. Net. All right. Let's get him back in the water, buddy. Here you go. Good boy. These are all great dogs. I'd have any one of these dogs on a fishing boat with me. Absolutely. None of them would cause any trouble whatsoever. They're not interested in the lures. They're not interested in the fish. They don't seem to get seasick. They're enjoying themselves. They're perfect dogs. I'm really happy on how things went with the dogs. All the young guide dog trainees are just so amazing. Catch me next time as my family and I go camping with one lucky guide dog trainee. It's going to be a big test on how the dog reacts to a lot of distractions. <laughs>